Hi, I'm Donna Spector, and I am the host of Get to Know Hopkinton. I'm also a local realtor with Real Living Suburban Lifestyle, and I'm really excited today because I have these two beautiful ladies from Swoon here, Swoon Central. I want to ask and you, Kathy, they, well, how did the idea about Swoon get started? Um, I've lived here for so many years, um, since um, 1997. So having been here, raising my children, the one thing that I was always missing was a place to go to shop without having to travel 20 minutes or more to get to a spot. So um, when I finally started having a little extra time, my kids were a little older, I really wanted to do something. And with the support of my husband who said, instead of talking about it, why don't you just do it? I came up with the idea of opening the store. Um, the initial idea was to start maybe do more in gifting and home than clothing, but we've sort of evolved into that, um, which we love. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I love that. And so, Lisa, tell us, how did you guys connect with each other? Well, we knew, we, we knew each other because we have children that are the same age, and um, most of them, two of each of our children, had gone off to college. So I had worked in town um, doing interior design for a while, and Kathy came to me with the idea of the store, and I initially said no. <laughs> I said, I'm done. I'd like to, you know, I want to have some time off and whatever. So, but as we started like designing the store, and you know, she said, well, why don't you just think about it and consult a little bit? So we started looking at, you know, what we were going to buy for the store and how the store was going to be designed. And then I just got really excited about it. And I'm like, okay, all right, I'm in. I'm in. So we became partners. And we transformed the space and did our initial buying, and and then five years went very quickly. Mm -hmm. yeah. It did, it did, mm -hmm. and I I must say, I'm a, I I am a swoon junkie. I do come <laughs> here quite a bit. I do get gifts, and I and I always have to buy something for myself. Um, my next question would be, what's something about your business that maybe somebody off the street might not know about when they come in? I think we can both speak to that. Um, first of all, first of all. Um, we know that people come in and say, oh, you probably don't carry my size. Mm -hmm. S boutiques generally carry smalls, mediums maybe. But the truth is we do carry a multiple um, range of sizes from um, 14s down to 2s. It really depends on who walks in our store. We sort of buy according to the women we see coming in here. Um, so I'll speak to that. And Lisa? Yeah, I would say uh, merchandise-wise, we're probably about 70% clothes and maybe 20, 25% jewelry mm -hmm. and then gifts. And especially around the holidays, we bring in more gifts. And I think what we really tried to do is um, another thing that people think about boutiques is that they're expensive and that they're high end and that they, you know, maybe can't afford it. And so we made a concentrated effort to really hit all price points. So you can come in here and you can buy a little sweatshirt or a sweater for $49, $50, or you can go all, all the way up to, you know, a fine cashmere sweater. Same thing with jeans. So we try to carry all price points and really appeal to all ages. I mean, we have girls that are when they're home from college come in and shop with their moms um you know young moms um people our age which uh have you know kids that are older and, and out of the house so we really try to cover a large moms. range and retired moms yeah so um we really try to cover the range in both clothes jewelry accessories and gifts let me ask you um kathy and lisa if a man were to come in here would he feel intimidated is he going to have the deer in the headlights look like, oh my gosh, right? So how do you help, how do you help the men find something for their special partner? Well, oftentimes, oftentimes we know the wife, or we recognize the name at least, so we can sort of help that husband or boyfriend or, or son, whoever they might be, um, uh, find things that they might like, that they're significant other might like so that's part of it and I think we also take the edge off we're just super comfortable walking up and saying hello and and making them feel comfortable do you agree Lisa yeah and I think um, one of the things they like about coming here is it's less overwhelming like to go to the mall and have all of these you know possibilities right. um, we also can tell them what maybe their wife has purchased. In the past, we can take a look and see, because um, our system allows us to do that. So we'll be like, oh, well, she likes this line of jewelry. Or, And the last thing that they really like is that we wrap everything for them. So when they leave, like sometimes at the holidays, men will come in and they'll be like their wife, their daughter, their mother, and everything is wrapped all up in a bow. And they are so happy that they don't have to do that. 
Yeah, that, it's not coming in a grocery bag. No, and they have to go home and wrap it <laughs> and get find the paper or whatever. It's ready yeah. to gift. So they love that. They're so excited. So that brings them back all the time because they're like, you know, they can get everything taken care of here. That's, that, you know, that, that's terrific. Steve, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> and Valentine's Day is coming up, man. <laughs> so, right? Yeah. yeah. And we'll have set, you know, things in just for Valentine's Day, like, um, you know, that are geared to that. So we plan for those kind of holidays, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, and obviously the holidays. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's terrific. So my next question is, what would you say customers love about Swoon? I know what I love about Swoon, and I'm going to chime in in a minute, but I want, want you guys to tell me what you think. Well, I think we make everyone feel comfortable. So I think that um, they walk in the door, they feel comfortable. We, we're not, we only ask if they need help. If they don't, they just roam and, and look around and, and help themselves. Um, and just ask us if they need something. Um, we also have gotten to know a lot of our customers, and they've become really wonderful friends for us. So it's a win for us, for sure, because we've created this whole new network of friends. Um, it's just so nice for us to see those faces come in the door just to say hello, if nothing else. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. yeah, I love that. So what I love about Swoon, and I'm of that age where I have tried a lot of clothes on over the decades, and I think that I know what looks good on me, and you guys have come up with some, some of your staff has come up with some nice outfits that I would never have picked out for myself. Mm -hmm. So I think you guys are very creative and you can look at somebody and, you know, I'm not five foot 10 and weigh 110 pounds. So it was really nice to, um, it's a nice service that you have available. So take advantage of that when you come in. Yeah, you guys are great with that. So my last, one of my last questions would be, is there anything exciting that's coming up that you'd like your customers to know about? Um, we started it last year. Uh, in the spring, we do a fashion show, which raises money uh, for ovarian cancer. And it's a cause that Lisa and I feel very near and dear to. Um, and last year, it sold out for us. So we, we put it on for one night at Central Public House, and it was so, so popular that we went ahead and added a second show. So we plan to do that again this year um, in the spring. We haven't determined a final date yet, um, but it is something that we would like to commit to yearly, and, and um, we've raised a great amount of money for it. Yeah, I think we raised last year almost $16,000, and people were just so excited. It was just such an overwhelmingly positive event. Um, you know, we would like to be able to allow more people to come because it was it was in addition to being for a great cause it was really a fun event too and very inspirational um, for the people that were there um, so we're looking at um, this year the end of april early may so if people are interested they it i think it sold out in like one day so we um uh, hope the same thing happens this year because it's a great cause I just want to add one more thing. So for people to, who are interested, they can follow us on Instagram at swoon.central or they can follow us on Facebook at Swoon Central and that's where they'll kind of be updated as we um, plan ahead in the store and for future events in the store as well. That's great. I, I was going to ask you if what your hours were, where you're located, and if somebody wanted to find you online so they would go to your Instagram. And do you have a website as well? or? We do have Website mm -hmm. that would just lead you to Facebook or Instagram. We don't have an active website, so it's really just a holding place to show our store and our information. Okay, so you can't buy online. You must come into the fabulous location here at 5 Walcott Street in Hopkinton and check out the wares that you guys have. Now, this is my very last question. Since you both live in town and you've been here for a while, Long time, you've raised your families here. Yes. If you could tell me each what you love about Hopkinton, if there's a favorite event, place, um, store, if there's a favorite food item that you have to go down to the local wherever and get, tell, tell me what you guys love about Hopkinton. I love and have loved with my kids, and I think maybe all three of us would speak to that because we're all from Hopkinton, are the trails around the lakes here, beautiful trails. Mm -hmm that you can go with your kids, you can go with your animals, your pets. Um, it's just lovely year round, whether you're going around in the winter or going around during the summer. So that certainly is a highlight. Um, love the people, uh, just such an embracing town, um, whether it's for good or for bad, there are so many people there for you. So I have loved that about it as well. Lisa? Yeah, I would say, I mean, we. 
I've been here for, I don't even want to say how long because it'll tell you how old I am, for a very long time. I think I already gave away. <laughs> and um, another thing is, you know, raising your children here. I mean, my children, the schools, I mean, just were mm -hmm. excited to go to school every day, you know, just loved the schools. And um, in fact, one of my child is like, wants to come back and stay and live here, like, you know. Yeah raise her family in Hopkinton. And she talks about the Little League parades and the, you know, the flag days and like all those events where the community really came together. And really those kind of things made an impact on her and about, about how she feels about growing up, you know, what she growing up in the town. Thank you so much for taking the time today and letting us all discover more about Swoon and what you guys do here and all the lovely items and about your families. We really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Donna. Thank you.